I envisioned uh, I envisioned an organization where teens could get together and educate ourselves and our peers about the life-saving power of vaccines. So yeah, that's how Teens for Vaccines got started. I'm sure you've talked to other teens who don't have the same situation at home. Um, what's that like when you talk to them and what, what kind of frustrations or what do they express to you? Yeah, for sure. They, um, the, in these households, um, there's two types of uh, parents. Well, first off, I, I want to say that teens love their parents. Uh, and we want to make sure that teens, that our parents are involved in vaccination. Just, you know, we, we want conflict. That That's not what we're looking for. Uh, and there's two types of parents. One parent is vaccine hesitant, uh, where they're mo they, most kids ask about one vaccine, for example, the HPV vaccine, uh, where there's um, doubts over why kids need it, like my kid's not um, sexually active, for example, or just, just those doubts, like for example, COVID. Or you have the extreme anti-vax parents, where there's no real hope of creating a dialogue, uh, where they're more likely to get involved in QAnon and other such conspiracy theories. And during and in these different situations, there's definitely a lot of um, a lot of frustration that uh, you, that they're not really, that teens and parents are not really bridging a gap, and they're sad and frustrated and also scared that they could get. Uh, uh, that, they, that they themselves could get infected with uh, with a virus. We uh, we created this guide uh, because we talked to uh, teens on Reddit uh, who had questions uh, specifically r slash vaccines. Uh, a lot of teens on the site who asked questions of a wide variety of topics from COVID to HPV to um, a teen who actually had uh, to go on Reddit to ask about her friend uh, whose mom wasn't allowing her to get to get vaccinated. And then you also have the different up types posts where people fence about their own frustrations with um, uh, with their parents and vaccines. So some of the main tips I would give to teens is uh, first off, educate yourself about uh, about the concerns you have or the concerns your parents have about vaccines. There's a ton of trusted sources out there, the CDC, uh, Vaxipedia, that have um, that have great content on how to or a great content on vaccines that can help you answer your questions. So you need to first, um, you need to learn first about, about the issue that you're specifically trying to address. And then when talking to your parents, uh, first off, before talking to your parents, you need to find a really good time where they're not stressed or they're not thinking about something else, where if they're stressed, they might just not be really willing to talk, but if they're relaxed and they're calm, it's a much easier conversation. So in, in this conversation, you want to definitely make sure that your feelings are felt and your and your voice is heard. So just be completely open with how you feel, your your stances on issues. Just to uh, yeah, be very open with your parents. And if that doesn't work, you can uh, bring in family friends. So your teachers, uh, your aunts, your uncles, uh, your doctors, your school nurses. Just try to involve them into the, into, the, into the conversation. To, to have your parents listen to a wide variety of perspectives, personal and academic. And if none of those work, uh, then I would I would suggest reaching out to your uh, local immunization coalition or your, your local state health department to see what the uh, what the minor consent laws and the and different state rules are in your state to see uh, under what conditions you can get vaccinated. But for a lot of other students, it's not really brought up vaccines and well, sex is a very touchy topic nowadays because of the, of the um, political animosity and just the, the general controversy caused by the pandemic. The, so we definitely need um, more content out there in the classroom to make sure that uh, teens and kids know know about vaccines from an early age to make sure that they can't be affected by the misinformation that's out there on social media nowadays. Mm -hmm. So while personally I've never, I've been fortunate enough to, to learn about HPV and vaccines, um, a lot of students across the country are not as fortunate and we do need to change that.